Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today for our fluency activity, we're gonna focus on two different activities. The first one, we're gonna be using arrays to find the product, and that's gonna tie into our actual lesson today for our concept development, where we're going to actually be using partial arrays to help us find the area of a rectangle. Then our second fluency activity is going to be all about skip counting again. And remember, skip counting is helpful in so many ways, and it definitely helps you with your multiplication. So our learning goals are I can find the product in an array, and I can skip count by threes. We're doing threes today. Threes, sixes, sevens, and nines. So let's jump in and get started with arrays. So I'm going to show you an array, and you will describe the array by saying how many rows, and how many are in each row, and then you'll find the product of the array. So here we go. So here's our first one. So how many rows are there, friends? Yeah, four. How many are in each row? Three. So what's the product of an array with four rows and three in each row? Yeah, 12. Four times three is 12. All right, let's look at this one. How many rows are there, friends? Remember, rows are side to side. Three. How many are in each row? Six. So what's our multiplication sentence that matches this array? Yeah. Three times six equals 18. Awesome. All right, here's another one for you. Oh, love this one. This one makes me happy with all these smiley faces. So how many rows are there, friends? Seven. How many are in each row? Five. So what's our multiplication sentence that matches this array? Seven times five equals 35. Awesome. Oh, I love this one. So friends, how many rows are there in this array? Four, awesome. How many are in each row? Eight. So our multiplication sentence is four times eight equals what, friends? 32. 4 times 8 equals 32 matches this array. All right, last one. Oh, look at this. Lightning bolts. Let's go lightning. <laughs> All right, so how many rows are there of these awesome lightning bolts? Five. How many are in each row? Nine. So what's our multiplication sentence? Yeah, five times nine. And what is five times nine equal, friend? What's the product? 45. Five times nine equals 45 is the multiplication sentence that matches this array. So great job using arrays, friends. So now we're going to use them to keep counting. So here we go. Remember, counting up is thumbs up. A fist is stop. And counting down is thumbs down. So here we go, we're gonna start with threes. So remember, every time you skip count a number, you are going to put up one finger. So if we're doing three, six, nine, you should have three fingers up. So that means three times three is nine. Okay, here we go. Let's skip count by threes, starting going up. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Count down. 27, 24, 21, 18. Stop. Counting up. 21, 24, 27, 30. Great job, friends. Give counting by threes to 30. Forwards and backwards. Now let's give count by sixes to 60. We're going to start with counting up. So here we go. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Counting down. 54, 48, 42, 36, 30, 
24. Stop. Counting up. 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Awesome job, friends. Rock on with that. Let's keep count by sevens to 70. We're going to start with counting up. Here we go. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. Counting down. 63, 56, 49, 42, 35. Counting up. 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. Rock on, friends, with counting by sevens to 70. Now we're up to nines to 90. Counting up, here we go. Nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. Counting down, 81, 72, 63, 54, 45, 36, 27, counting up, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. Great job, friends. You guys nailed it. So you guys rocked it with using arrays to find the product and do skip counting. So you guys did a great job. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next for today. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. <laughs>